Wad Wands is that guy. Not locks, baby. Coming in from that east side gaming. Yeah, yeah. MOG check mark, live online under the game Madden NFL 2-3, the uptime begin. Step in here, come on. Don't take all day either. Hold oh, on, let me do this. Make sure. My audio is right. Let me make sure. Okay, can you hear me? Let me make sure. All right, cool. I know I'm cool. All right, well, as you come in, man, make sure you hit that like button. Come in fellowshipping with one another. Now that I know my audio is cool, let me get my lighting. Hold on. Hold on. That's right. I was glad when they said unto me, get up in here, man. Let's fellowship one time. I just want to give clarity and show some charity at the same time, man. That's all. You know, because I can see that, uh, you know, a lot of you are confused. And amen. God is not the author of confusion, uh, of confusion, and neither is the game. The game ain't the author of confusion either. So I just want to make this uh, plain. And if anyone want to challenge me, you know, or come in, you know, after I have to say what I'm going to say. You know, I'm going to uh, open up the call. Yeah, I'm going to open up the lines, man. Brown Hunter, man, appreciate the respect. Appreciate that 10, fam. Good looking. But yeah, just to give these squares some clarity, man, you know, they always uh, be doing that. Hold on, let me see that. Open up the lines, man. Hey, Peter, do you think we're going to get that next Dirty Mac and video this month? Damn, that's... You like yeah, you like that, huh? Uh, in, in the game's appointed time, I'm not gonna say when, but it definitely will be a number two. I'm glad that you brought it up. That should have been, you know, bigger than it is. A lot of my videos should be bigger than it is, but you know, Sin been shadow banned for so long. You know, it is what it is. That's why I was telling Freeze, man, you gotta press through that. Yeah, you can't get discouraged. Because your views ain't what it uh what it should be. That they not, you know, sending them notifications out and you know and all of that, man. You gotta uh uh you gotta press through that. It's a lot of people I got better. Keep on pushing. Uh, yeah, they got more likes, more views. Keep more on pushing. You can't get upset with that. Look at the things that I say within the video. Look at the, the uh profanity that I use. <laughs> you know, so I understand. But one thing about it that I know, when the people really fuck with you, you know, when they really fuck with you, even when you shadow ban, even when, you know what I mean, uh, they're not sending them notifications out, your people going to share your shit. Your, the people going to hit that like button. The people going to make sure them likes is on one accord with the viewers if they really fuck with you. Cool, man. Appreciate that, too. Yeah. Appreciate that, fam. <clears throat> if you, uh, let me see. Hey, Robin. Hey, baby. I, you know what? I can't really speak on Lavish D. I knew that him and Clyde was cool at one time. 
And they was like, you know, texting and talking to each other. I know Lavish D did have some experiences and shit like that, but I can't really just, you know, get a... We, we, see, that's what I'm bringing back. We got to bring the seriousness back to the game. It ain't got too easy to be called a pimp. All a nigga got to do is make a song and, you know, a, a, a rap. And, and, of course, I got to be the bad guy to say these things because, you know, if somebody don't come out and say it, then all these broads, you know, going to be sitting over here, you understand me, uh, choosing and, you know, thinking that, you know, uh, let me choose up with this rapper. No. Nah. <laughs> so, you know what I mean, that's why I got to give this clarity so it won't give me no misunderstandings, you know, with this uh, with these rappers rapping about the lifestyle. What do you mean? Is too short on this list, nigga? Don't you see too short name? Face in the thumbnail. When they say, you know what I mean? Uh, no pimp, no pimping. Everybody that's in that uh that title, nigga, is not a pimp. Yeah. Let me see. I can't really speak for Drew Down. You know, Drew Down has some experiences and things like that. Plus, you know, I man, he used to be around crooked mouth a lot. So, you know, I don't know. You know, I can't say, I know he, I know he didn't have some, uh, I know Drew Down didn't have some hope. That's what I do know. As far as, is he really a, I don't know. But has he had some hoes? Yeah. See, that's the understanding. I'm just giving y'all a little time. That's the understanding that I'm about to give. Y'all think everybody that got uh, a hoe or some hoes, or excuse me, some prostitutes, you know, is it, it, pimping, and uh, we got to get an understanding. Yeah. Let me see. Bro. So pimp can't do nothing else but pimp? No, that's not what I'm saying, man. Listen so you can have an understanding. You know what I mean? It, it's better for you to just listen and soak up the game rather than come up with your own uh you know, little understanding, you know what I mean? That's how a lot of religions and bad decisions, you know what I mean, is created, man. You know what I mean? People coming up with their own little shit, you know? Baby, appreciate the, uh, that too. You know, appreciate the respect. Blessings to you. But, yeah, we gotta, uh, we gotta stop putting everybody, you know, in the pimping. You know, on the active pimp list. No. <laughs> You know, so let me see. Uh, yeah, we got enough people up in there. Okay, well, do me a favor. Get them likes up. Make the likes uh, look like the viewers. But let me just come through. Uh, because of my respect for free, you know, I didn't, if you pay attention, really, I didn't really say nothing negative uh, about free. Why? Because I respect, I like free. You know what I mean? Still gonna listen to free music. I don't care what them niggas talk about. All them niggas talk about. Well, you bullshit! You don't hit the same because he married and shit. You know, nigga, I'm gonna play uh, sugar free music <laughs> pretty much to the day that I die. Nigga, I don't care if he get uh, married, divorced, married again, divorced and married again. Nigga, this motherfucking uh, music, nigga, is, is too meaningful, it's too powerful, and it's on point. It's on one accord with the game. You know, I told y'all about uh, taking shit personal. And trying to, uh, you know, basically minimize the artist and his artistry and stop fucking with the art because of the personal life of the artist. You know what I mean? That ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, appreciate that five, man. Appreciate that five. Good looking. Okay, but yeah, you'll notice that when I said what I said, I just told you guys, and they called, you know, I got a whole bunch of calls and shit. P, man, why you say, or did you say, we, we died laughing. You know, uh, I even looked at the comment section when I got up today. You know what I mean, laughing my ass off. See him, see him, y'all <laughs> so green and stupid. Motherfucker said that girl, see him, shit free is black. He black, P, he black. <laughs> Listen, let me say this. You should have known by just that reason that I wasn't trying to really uh, go in uh, on free. That's why I told. That's why I told you what I told you. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as you know, the pivot being the black man, I meant that. 
Yeah, yeah. Before I take it back, you know what I mean? I add more to it, right? You know, but it was certain other things that I could have said, but I stayed respectful. I didn't get on all of that other stuff people was talking about online and all of that. Why? Because that ain't about nothing. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, you know, uh, above all of these titles is just being a man. Yeah, and as long as you're a man, you know, especially in these times, man, you're the MVP. You know what I mean? Blessings to all the UFOs, man, the men uh, in this day and age, you know. But again, as far as uh, the pivot is concerned, I man. told you guys that, you know, when you start off wrong, you know, most likely if you start off wrong, that's the way you're going to end. Touch your Did you hear what I told you? Touch your neighbor if you start off wrong, most likely that is going to be the way that you're going to end. Touch your See what do you mean by that? Um, I'll give you an example. <laughs> that ain't disrespectful. Uh, that, ain't, that ain't disrespectful. Hold on. You don't really know me, niggas. Don't exactly. talk like you do. Hold on. Just give you an understanding right quick. Because I know the fans and people that got their heart broke. They were like, hey, why did he say that, man? Why? <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm about to acknowledge you too, baby, but hold on. Let me do this right quick. Or a taste of film thing. Uh, from that rap uh, uh, came everything else. Okay. Okay. Now, you know, Pippin is a, definitely a big theme all through music. You know, were you actually Pippin back then at 15? No. No. Okay. Well, when did that start officially? When I was 17. Okay. Can, can you talk about what got you into that? Well, in order for me to have a stomach to, to even do that shit first. Uh, my baby mama took my son from me. Yeah, see. And I always told her, after you, I ain't gonna have no girlfriends and shit. I'm just gonna have hope. And uh, that's what happened. You know, I seen that uh, you know, I put all my eggs in one basket on that one. But, you know, realized that I wasn't the one to go through that kind of shit because I, I, I won't come back. I never came back from that. I started pimping, man. Huh. So, so your you're baby mama taking the kid really just kind of Harden you against women in general? Yes. I mean, hell yeah. I mean, fuck yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. uh, you, you know, okay. you know, the, the, the 17 uh, part of it uh, was short because I went to Wyatt. Um, let me just say again, the way you start is most likely uh, the way you go in. So, out of his mouth, not mine, he entered into the lifestyle or, you know, professed to enter into the lifestyle because his heart was broke. His heart was broke. His baby mama broke his heart. So, because his baby mama broke his heart, he said, let me go pick. I'm about to have a so it's not really a surprise to me that you got in the lifestyle because, well, excuse me, you start uh, dealing with prostitutes, you know, because you got your heart broke. And so it's not really a surprise to me for you to get married because now so, uh, a, a, a bitch basically has mended your heart and, you know, has put your heart back together. Yeah. You came in, uh, you came in the game because your heart was broke, and now you're in the marriage yeah. because, you know, this love thing is back together. 
you know, and I'm not being funny. I'm just being. Yeah, Twenty three back to this. So you know, when we have issues. individuals that because of divorce on that Brett Favre shit, guns like guns, or because baby mama left, and they enter into you know the game dealing with prostitutes. That's one of the biggest inspirations on why they're doing what they're doing. Then they doing it, you know, for the uh, well, they're not really doing it, but they profess to be doing it all for the wrong reason. They just got a bandana. So it's not that they genuinely, sincerely want to appeal. It's just that you're angry, you're upset. You know, you're coming from an angry place. That ain't got nothing to do with no damn thing. You know, married to the game. No, we not married. Listen, man, why y'all keep saying that dumb ass shit? I keep telling y'all, I'm not married to a motherfucker. Man. I was married to the game and all this. The game is not married to you, first of all. You know, get that out there. You can be married to the bitch, but the game ain't married to you. You know, people be thinking they Let's go, baby. Fly, fly, Eagle, fly. <laughs> so I, I, I just get quiet when y'all talk like that. You have never been simple to be talking about, yeah, man, I'm married to this gang. I'm not even married to the gang. I'm not married to no, nothing. Niggas looking for a fly-ass way to say that they married. Y'all want to be married so bad. You want to be a husband so bad. See, that's, that's the real you trying to come out. And there's nothing wrong with that. Let the real you come out right now. If you profess to be a pimp, Right now, you know in your heart that you really want to be a husband. You really want to be a boot daddy. You really want to be, you know what I mean, a, a guy that got two or three careers and, you know, you've been a provider for, for your boo and shit. Like, come on, man. Leave this shit alone and get out the way and let the real you come out. Come out. You know you want to get married. You want to be in love and it's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, who told you that it was Yo, cool? Yo, why, Who told you it was cool to even be in a life of criminality and taking chances and put yourself in a correctional facility for an eternity? Who told you that that was cool? Ain't nothing wrong with being a husband, man. Marry that woman. Make a good wife out of her. So, uh, uh, go ahead and get you uh, some children, man, and create tribes with her. You know, do your thing. Get married, man. We need more of you guys, man. You know what I mean? Get married. Get love. The reason why I have to come with this game is because I don't want you to think that the decisions of these rappers. Do you hear me? I don't want the, you know, the, oh. you know, uh, these rappers to make you start looking at the people different. I don't want you to categorize the pimping and put the pimping in a category with, you know, oh my God, wow. That's just like, a, I'm, not, I'm just giving you an example. Let's just say if Filthy Rich decides to get married and he marry a square, I don't want to hear no real ho uh, no hoes and no bitches in the game come up. Oh my God, all of these pimps, they just stay getting married. You know, the squares and that nigga ain't no goddamn pimp, bitch. <laughs> He's a hustler. Filthy got some game about himself. I'm proud of him. He's doing this thing. He's being a blessing to his people, you know. Uh, as far as being a real nigga from the outside, he look like he that. But as far as this pimping go, though, he's not that. You know what I mean? No. So, you know, stop... Just because somebody made some songs that you love. And then I, I remember one time a nigga got in a conversation, he's like, yeah, man, you know, he was down with us. Woo, woo, woo. Nigga, did you not hear me yesterday? Nigga, Snitch has been down on the blame. What the fuck? What is that really saying? Snooky, I, I, I can one of the coldest examples. Snooky has been on the blame cross country. Snooky won a uh, Pimp of the Year at a player's box. Snooky was on the front cover of the American Pimp. 
So that's why the motherfucker sit up there and say, yeah, Pete, uh, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, he told me, yeah, I know he's I know he uh, was working with the uh, people. I know he was the informant, but yeah, he was down with us. Come on, man. What are you really saying? See, to a square, that's convincing. But to somebody so that's really Detroit, the lifestyle, Vikings, that has seen, you Redskins. know what I mean, even motherfuckers on the concrete, you know, profess this, and really wasn't this, you know, that ain't, that ain't gonna move. I don't care if a motherfucker getting a multitude from a multitude, that don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? These bitches been paid motherfucking tricks. Niggas, you understand me, that was drugs and crips. Niggas were big oh. You know what I mean? DVDs, DVDs, and niggas that were selling DVDs and CDs. Nigga, that don't mean the goddamn thing. Damn. You know what I mean? So just keep that thing all the way going on. Stop making everybody this pimping. I like track number nine. Oh, man, that's my favorite song, man. This nigga gonna kill for real. No. Certain people are gonna be more detailed in songs because they actually have an experiences with prostitutes. So of course, with them having experiences, you know, charging bitches and you know, uh, breaking on hoes and things like that, they can speak again from an experience standpoint versus just from somebody speaking from their gift and telling myths over instrumentals. You know, but well, honestly. If you look at a lot of sugar-free songs, even from the beginning, they was about uh, kind of like him just getting back at it, like on some kind of scorn shit like that. Whatever. Uh, they had like a '97 with the coke. Oh my way, oh my way. Yeah, shit. It really would sound like he'd be slapping bitches and. Hitting a bitch and telling a bitch to choke herself, all the bullshit. He wasn't really talking about the whole putting much money in here. Again, just because you break on a hoe or charge a bitch, that don't just qualify you as a pimp. It's more than just, you know, receiving, you know, money from a bitch and living off the earnings of prostitution. Tricks didn't done that, believe it or not. Boyfriends that done that, believe it or not. Yep. <laughs> you know, these niggas right now, they ain't got an ounce of pimping in them right now, but they playing that good boyfriend role. And they getting the bankroll, you know what I mean, out of these little broads, you know what I mean, that, you know, profess to be the home. So again, you know, uh, let me piggyback on that before I go to other places. You know, a guy telling you that the reason why he got in the game is because his baby mama broke his heart. His baby mama sat up there, you know what I mean, and hurt him. So he got in and said, you know what, I ain't having nothing but hoes because that, that, he let me know right there, he's not a pill. He's letting me know right there and there that he took knowledge from his mama, knowledge from different uh, uh, representation of the game, observing different types of the game, and taking that knowledge and being able to utilize it, you know what I mean, to knock different bras and, you know, things of that nature. Hey, why do that? You know? <laughs> and let me just... Let hey, me why do that shit? Well, I'm not going, this is not to... Uh, put, you know, I'm not going to speak too much on that, but let me just say this. <laughs> when you're doing drugs, all right? When you own drugs, one of the one of the uh, things that you know we're like, well, what you know, what's the difference from a pimp and from him? Always be able to look at being able to do what the average man, what any other man outside of the lifestyle wouldn't do, couldn't do. Anybody can sit up there and break on a bench. Yeah. So we can't just. You know, you can't just automatically say that, you know what I mean, man, yeah, this guy, man, whoo, he got to be a pimp. Look that bitch just gave him some money. There's some niggas that, you know what I mean, got some cold mouthpieces. And everybody that got cold mouthpieces is not a pimp. <laughs> well. 
Do you hear what I'm saying? Niggas be like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm a master of communication. Everybody that has mastered communication is not doing participation in the lifestyle of Pimpin' and Hoeing. Yeah. Everybody that has mastered communication are not pimps or masks. It's some tricks, you know what I mean, that communicate very well. <laughs> speak very eloquently. Go to the best of schools. You know, and you got individuals, man, that's not in the lifestyle, but they're able to talk to individuals of all walks of life. Does that make him a pimp because, you know, he can communicate well? Certainly you have a better, profound, more, more uh, meaningful definition than that. Even when y'all be saying pimp, we can put it in my pocket. Hey man, uh, a bitch can put it in anybody's pocket. These bitches can pay the bitches before. So that let you know right off, uh, right off the top. You can't just uh, label somebody a pimp just because a bitch gives them some motherfucker some money. Bitches pay bitches. You got bitches right now, they got a seven pussy putting their life on the line to, to pay a bitch. To pay another woman, to pay another, uh, you understand me, once a month lose motherfucker. She's sitting over there putting her life on the line for a bitch. She emotional. That person's emotional. They all just, everybody just emotional. Bitch. So, you know, is the bitch now the pivot? You know what I mean? Because another bitch uh, that sold some pussy and gave her a trap? Certainly you got more sex than that. Certainly you got more sex than that. I want to question you. I want you to think. There have been individuals there that have some nice houses, some nice jewelry, some nice clothes. And they have studied the hand movements. They study the hand gestures of pimps. You got YouTubers that have watched uh, different videos, different documentaries about the lifestyle. You got Dr. B.O.A. who, once he got upset, started speaking down on the pimp. But trying to make money, which he's, he is, making money using the pimp name, talking about pimp principle. He gonna tell you that the alpha male is above every male, but yet and still he gonna, he gonna tell you that the alpha male is above the pimpin, but it don't say alpha principle, it say pimp principle. So if the alpha male is greater than the pimp, then why the hell is the alpha male learning from the pimp principle instead of pimp learning from the principle of an alpha male? Everybody is using this game to try to benefit. That nigga ain't done nothing, and it ain't just him. It's other individuals who have just watched nothing but pimp tutorials, pimp videos, same the center, a lot of these guys, fraudulent individuals. There we go. Nigga went to, nigga went to Berkeley, and ain't nothing wrong with that. But with all of the education that he has, he want to sit up there and put himself in the same sentence, the same conversation with a guy with, with the pimps. That lets you know that you know how cold this pimp is. That lets you know how cold this pimp is, man. What's a person? These motherfucking uh, 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 fourth and fifth grade school teachers and shit like that, and want to put themselves in the same conversation with criminals. That just let you that just let you know, but even with all of the education, after achieving this and achieving that, they still didn't think it was nothing. You know, when the pimp when the pimp would get involved. Now they might talk that shit, oh man, fuck a pimp. I don't want to be no like no pimp. Woo 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 woo. But how are they able to attract the audiences that they're attract? Why? Because they're listening to the conversations of pimps and they're converting it and perverting the information, you know what I mean, and they're trying to act as if this is their intellectual property when in fact all they do is sit up there and memorize the words that they was mesmerized, you know what I mean, by it that came out of a pimp's mouth. They just said, oh, so again, they just said, oh that shit too hard. They just said, oh, that shit too hard to uh, say to, the, to that crowd. So they gonna try to uh, you know, pervert it, like he said. What the hell that gotta do 
Let me look at the comments, man. What the hell they got to do with anything? Let me look at this. Hold on. No, Mac Dre was not no pimp, man. Mac Dre was a hustler. Has Mac Dre probably had some experiences, you know, breaking on Brown? Yes, but, you know what I mean? Uh, you can ask, you know, people that actually knew him. No, he was not a pimp. Pimp C was a family man. Yeah. Um, Matt Dre was just a cold hustler, a great rapper. <laughs> you know, too short, he never was a pimp. He didn't have some experiences with some prostitutes, but he never was a pimp. You know what I mean? Everybody that's in that title, man, they not, these guys are not pimp. Stop it. Give respect to his feet. Uh, hold on, hold on. Try someone, especially the age of the enemy, to break it down. Hold on. The key title himself coming along with indictment and just excitement. Everybody want to be seen. Got him. Let me make sure. Let's go. Five, five for the brown eyes and a head five, and I swear that I let her know you came through. You remind me of that. Okay, I ain't really missing nothing. Cash Lord, Menace. Man, if you don't like that, is nothing. Cash Lord, Menace. Oh, JD's is a cold Mac, man. You know what I mean? He get his back on. You know, he get his, he be playing. He got, you know, he's a cold, he's a player. You know, he got some. Some player type ways. <laughs> you know, but stop putting these guys in the pimp category. These are not pimps. These are cold hustlers. These are gifted black men. <laughs> so using their gifts. You know what I mean? Um, you know, to basically get on the instrumental and say things, you know what I mean, that are compel you to stream their music. <laughs> these are not pimps. So when these men make decisions, this does not look bad on the pimper. Why? Because these men are not the pimper. Pimper don't like that. Pimper, pimper don't like that. This pimper don't like that. As far as Sauce, <laughs> Sauce is a, a good man, man. A blessing to his family, putting his friends on. You know, they cold with the rapper, man. You know what I mean? The guy rich, we didn't see where he didn't came from. I remember when Sauce first came out. And now he's <clears throat> doing his thing, man. But he not the pimper either. No, he not the pimper. Five five for the brown eyes and a hip line. I swear I let her know. Being in that areas, man. You know, being in that H town, being around, you know what I mean, different, you know, pimps and seeing how they especially if you've been down on the blade with pimps. Now, have soft had experiences, you know, with prostitutes and things like that? Hell yeah. You know what I mean? But he's still not the pimp. You know, he's more of a, um, I've been telling you that he's more of, some people classify as a Mac, or, you know, might put him in the player lane, but no, he's not the pimp. Stop it. Fucking serious. Interesting, you can say the Mac Dre is pimp then. Who, who said the Mac Dre is the pimp? Who said the, who said the Mac Dre is the pimp? Like, are you, are you guys listening? You have to be replying to somebody in the comment section. I never said that Matt Gray was a pimp, and I said that he wasn't the pimp. Everybody in that title is, is not the pimp. Can you read? Uh, no. You, you, you not the pimp. Okay, uh... You know that Matt Gray was not pimping on home, man, stop it. I know this is hurting a lot of y'all hard, you know, because you from different areas, and you, you know, you like certain music, and... You know, you want to get hyphy and all of that. <laughs> no, that's, that's not, that's not. No. Dang. You know, him, put it like this. One of the most simplest definitions that I gave out of the New York definitions concerning pimps. Pimps only him. Max subject, subjective. The player is subjective. The pimp is not. Pimps only pimp. Pimps be pimping. You won't catch pimps selling drugs. You won't catch pimps uh, sitting over there, you know, trying to be prostitutes. Pimps ain't catch uh, ain't no only fans. You know what I mean? Uh, 
you know, fucking they hoes and all that. No, pimps only pimp, man. You know, pimps ain't involved in, you know, all these different uh, curriculum activities and shit, mixing it to fix it, you know, with the drugs and, you know, trying to get money from the womb and the spoon, you know, to put something together. No, pimps only pimp, man. But respect to all of the max. Respect to all of the players. This is not the down talk max and players. If anything, I respect max and players. You know, but I just want to give the distinction between them. Let me see. No, man. But first of all, let me make this let me make this very because I can see that, you know, I'm hurting you guys hard. Um but let's just say, and even in the future, always remember, just like, you know, uh, when Dre said this game is bigger than Pippin and Horn. Um, when I'm no longer presiding over women, you know, in the lifestyle, I will always be living off the game. I will always live off the game. Whether it be books, whether it be me speaking or uh, uh, whatever. I'm always going to live off the game. I'm going to take this game with me wherever I go. It's in me. I can't retire. When niggas say I'm retired, how you gonna retire from being yourself? I can't retire from being me. All I can do is get into some more of it. So when you see me in the future coming out of that book, oh. you know, you see no more. You know, speaking Man. at this school or speaking at this church or, you know, ministering the word or whatever I'm doing, man. You know, I'm always taking the game with me. I'm going to live off this game for the rest of my life. I'm going to do some things in the game that my family, my children's children is going to benefit from me, from me basically being in the game, from the game for me. Ah. You know, I hear what I'm saying. Man, I already spoke on you now. Why do you keep Ask me about you now. You down and had some uh, some hoes before, but I can't say that he is or isn't. I ain't ever been uh, side by side with that man. So to my knowledge, he ain't. You know, what I mean? he just didn't have some experiences. He didn't been around some max and, and things like that. You know what I mean? And, 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 you know, doing his thing, but you know, I can't just put it on him like that. Oh my God, man, you got all of it. Hey, listen, if you want to continue to keep the poster of your favorite rapper above your bed, I'm not trying to take Filthy Rich from above your bed. I know you got Filthy Rich above your bed. <laughs> I when you take a bitch to bed to fuck, you know, she got to look at Filthy Rich, uh, filthy rich first. Look <laughs> that. I'm not, I'm not angry. Damn, 43. You want to keep Filthy Rich above your bed, then you keep your rich above your bed. You know what I mean? But just because a nigga sitting there and breaking him, that don't mean that he's some pippin', goofball. Listen to the messenger of the game when I'm speaking to I mean, you damn. so you can be blessed. That's the problem with these square ass niggas. You know what I mean? You're trying to speak about something that you don't know about. Nigga, we got plenty of people nigga, in, in jail nigga, with pandering cases and shit. You understand me that hey, you know? Yeah. Hey, speaking of Tommy Wright. That's true. Nigga, I don't even know no Tommy Wright. Why do y'all keep bringing up Tommy Wright? I don't know no damn Tommy Wright, man. Yeah, oh, but yeah, I see a name Stop like that. Stop bringing up people, man. Names don't even register. That's true. Blessings to dude. I see him uh, in the comment section, you know, every now and then, but I don't listen to his music. I don't know him like that. And like I said, I've been told you that I, I don't know if that's the uh, same uh, D Mac, but you know, D Mac, I don't even know why you got your lame ass in my comment section. In my comment section, if that's who I think it is. Yeah, yeah, I told you, ever since you got on teaching platform line, talking about some, you knock me for a bitch and all that, like, nigga, sitting over there lying. Niggas be trying to have history with a pimp and shit. Freestyle lying. 
You know what I mean? You just like these. If that's the Z-Mac I think of, nigga, you just like these hoes. Nigga, you just want to sit up there and use a pimp's name to get some fame and shit. Nigga, you ain't gonna knock me for no bitch. If you did, nigga, it wouldn't have been no problem for me to say that you knocked me for a bitch, nigga. You know? Let me see. Probably high as hell. You know, you be getting high and shit. Uh, so if you fuck with it, fuck with the paper band, that makes you, that's a repeat, right? If you fuck with the paper game, I wouldn't say it take away from you, it take the key away, because I don't know your circumstance uh, at that time. See, it's a difference from if you hold us and us and somebody basically said, if you let me do you a favor, or you learn some game to do you a favor, and you ended up knocking a bribe, uh, within that month or something that you was using the paper game, but to actually take the paper game and make it a hustle, like, ooh, I'm about to start selling rooms, I'm about to start selling plane tickets, I'm about to start selling car rentals, I'm about to start sitting over there, you know what I mean, selling, uh, I ain't gonna say too much, but, uh, you know, niggas gonna be going in the Gucci and Louis store, you know what I mean, off the info, you know, stuff like that, you know what I mean, that's when they get very unpinched. You done took the pressure off the bitch, you know what I'm saying? And this is, you really a rest haven because, you know, the pressure ain't on that hoe. You got the bitch standing in the five star, you know, main hotel, and the bitch giving you three, four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars, you know, about a brace of God every day, man. That bitch, you know, she ain't even coming in like that the way she should to be sitting over there in those five star room, you know, getting, uh, you know, uh, this one nigga, and, and some of y'all know what you know, getting uh, room service and all that goddamn shit. You in Hawaii with the uh, with the bitches and all and each of them is coming in with threes and foes and all of that shit. Three bitches coming all together from one bitch trap and you got bitches staying in five star rooms and shit, eat room service and shit. That ain't the goddamn pimping. You taking care of them bitches more than they taking care of you. How the fuck is, how the fuck is this pimping? So that's why I say, man, that, that paper game, you know, certain individuals, they're like, I'm going to just use it, you know, to get on my feet. I'm going to just use it, you know, to stack some money up. And, woo, woo, woo. and they end up using that shit, and then they try to make it into the hustle. And then these niggas start, you know, instantly start getting known as uh, pretty much a hustle. Let me see, y'all. Um, you gotta stop doing that on that fucking back turn. There's someone that been in the trenches, I've been certified that physically with in the trenches, you know, in the trenches, you know, in the trenches, you know, you probably not think what's going on. Hey, man, uh, it's, it's some game bangers that's been knocked before. I mean, you know what? I would be wasting my time to cast a pearl before swine trying to actually explain certain things even in the language of simplicity because a lot of you still wouldn't understand or you wouldn't want to understand because you would want to maintain you know your favorite rap star I understand but uh well I know what you do I, I told you that's not me okay if it's not you then my bad man but see that you already using blood that made me think that it's you you just don't want me to roast you, but I do think it is your corny ass. <laughs> if, uh, if it ain't, then my bad, but I really do think it is you. You know, and I've been told you that you're a goofy. I'm going to be honest, and Bank Gray was not a home up, but he was versatile when he knew and watched his music, and you should compete with people out of Bank Gray before playing people. And no people do it personally. Man, if you don't knock it off, man, I know individuals that do it personally too. And you know what I mean? He would knock the pimp. Stop it. You know what I mean? Stop it. You know what I mean? You can sit up there and go, uh, you know, if you ever get a chance to chop it up, you know what I mean? Different people like KP Hello, you know, different Damn, people. Damn, still running. Right you know, we getting out of the battle. Dre was a hustler, man. You know, Dre was about his business. Dre was about his money. But as far as pimping is concerned, you know, for pimp I live and for pimp I die, you know what I mean? Uh, no! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! 
You know? Thank you. I understand, you know, niggas be in different places. It's just like when people, when my Chicago niggas be trying to bring up do or die and twist them. I just instantly just start laughing. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, you know what I mean? Uh, with Twister and do or die was pimping. I instantly just started laughing. I used to just started laughing. Where's the baby? Fuck! What you mean, speak on it? Nigga, I've been spoke on it. Um, you know, this is somebody that's in their uh, 50s that hasn't been in the game for over 20 goddamn years. What are you talking about? Like, how, how, like, how slow can you be? If an individual is not active in the lifestyle, then they have the liberty, you know, to do their certain things that an active kill does not have. How simple is that to understand? Dre ain't sit up there and been in the lifestyle for over 20 goddamn motherfucking years. Yeah, sure, he got a lot of profound, meaningful things to say, you know, because he was in the game, he is the game, he's the son of the game. But at the same particular time, he has not been active in the lifestyle for over 20 something years. What would be wrong with him making music about the life that he used to live? What would be wrong with that? Now, as far as him uh, being married, Pimp's been getting married before Dre was even born. As far as Dre being uh, married to who he's married to, you know, uh, honestly, just to keep it all the way 100 with you, you know, um, my views and my doctrine don't change just because I fuck with somebody or love somebody. Dove was a blessing to him because Dove gave him something that most of us, you know, will never experience. People, what are you talking about? Meaning that some of you can break a bitch for some money, but you'll never be able to break a bitch for a kidney. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, she has been, her loyalty has been tested in ways that most will never uh, be tested in. You know, uh, she's proven her love, her loyalty time and time and over again. But at the same time, like I've been told you guys that um, when it comes to this pivot, all right, watch this. When it comes to this pivot, it would be better, and I know, you know, I don't change up my words for nobody. You know, it would be better for you to marry a hoe or do something with your hoes, you know, versus basically being married or being involved with somebody who never was involved in the lifestyle with you. You see what I'm saying? So I don't change that because I love somebody or we friends or, or we brothers and all that type of shit. The truth is the truth. And the truth don't change because of a friendship or relationship or love and all of that shit. The game is above all of that. And I told you guys to never sit up there, leave this game and get married, you know what I mean, to a square broad, you know what I mean, who never did nothing for you in the lifestyle simply because it make you, it kind of make you look crazy. I told you that, and it make you look crazy. You know why? Because here you are saying that this bitch gave you five years. Another people might say, this bitch gave me 10 years, or 15, or 20 years. It would look crazy for you to have that bride all that time, or this bride gave you this much money, and this, she gave you this and did that. But y'all didn't, you know, you don't have her, or you don't have nobody, you know what I mean, from, from the game. You did. Hold on for a minute. Just give me one second, y'all. Oh, damn, he hung up. Okay, cool. Hopefully he hit, hit me back. You know, that's the love one on lockdown. But it's always better to be with your own. Me, I have no desires to get married. Me, I never see, I, I don't think from my human mind, me right now at the age of 38 years old, can I ever see myself get married? No. If I wasn't even in the lifestyle, could I see, see myself being married? No. 
See, everybody, like I keep telling you, everybody making a pimp thing. Pimp, 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 pimp. Even if I wasn't in the lifestyle, I couldn't see myself being married. Now, as a man of God, when you're living for God, you obey God. So if the Spirit of God told you that this is your wife and told you to get married to this woman, then as a servant of God, you got to be obedient to the Most High. Or if he told you to marry multiple women and take multiple wives, as a servant of God, you be uh, obedient to the Most High. But he ain't never told me nothing like that. So guess what? I ain't married, and I, I don't see myself getting married. I'm, see, people just use the lifestyle. I'm telling you, even if I wasn't in the lifestyle, that wouldn't be nothing on my mind. You know, but at the same particular time, I'm not against marriage. If that's something that you want to do, all I'm doing is encouraging you to marry a whole. Since you want to be married so bad, I'd rather see you marry a hoe than a square bitch that never put her life in danger, never sit up there and was in danger, never sit up there and seduce and reduce strangers, you know what I mean, to have your trap right top of the morning. I don't want to see you with the square. I would love to see you with the hoe because it makes the game look good. You know, but to each his own. Some, some, it didn't end like that. It, it didn't go like that for them. Dog, get married to the game. Hey, man, stop saying all that dumbass shit in my comment section. You guys can talk like that, you know, in the comment section of them squares and shit. But, hey, to my mods, hey, man, keep my comment section pimpish. I always, I, uh, you know, a lot of times when I be teaching, I be missing a lot of square ass shit that be said in my comment section. A lot of times I wish I could, you know, uh, uh, you know, do that. But all of that uh, square shit, man, hey, it's... it's Stop all of that. Let me see. Let me just go through these comments. But then I divorced and left church and went back to the game. Mm. Rallo is not the pimpin. Who told you that? I'm not saying, you know, is or isn't, but, but who told you that? Those are words you'll never hear from them. You know, uh, oh, okay, you quote the lyrics. Oh, okay, that's what's up. You quote the lyrics of your favorite rapper, that's cute. That's what's up. I ain't mad at you. You want to turn a bitch out to the game and you yourself not married to it? You dumbass. Uh, why the fuck would you be married to the game? Who told you that? Who? Who taught you this strange doctrine to be married to the game? I'm not married to the game. Nigga, marriage, nigga, marriage is in every fucking day. What I have uh, to the game is deeper than a motherfucking marriage, nigga. Sitting over there bringing up marriage and shit like that. These niggas want to be married so bad. You, you niggas are showing your true selves. Oh, husband, hard-ass niggas all in my comment section. You know what I mean? Uh, just keep pushing the marriage, man. God damn. They really trying to push this marriage on this pimping, man. Thanks for uh, to kill me and that. I'm finally lacing my pimp boots and said my girlfriend needs out of Man, if you don't knock it off, appreciate the fire, though. Yeah, dude, just be saying anything. Niggas just pushing marriage. You know... Like I said, I'm not against it, but I, what's up with all of this married to the game? And I'm, I'm not married to the game. See, y'all just want to be fly with the marriage and shit, man. <laughs> I'm not with all of that, man. Hey. Let me see. And then I, I can't stand another thing when you niggas be saying that shit. You know, who, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? But you can die alone and woo, woo, woo. I've already come to the reality that I should be using my youth to benefit my life when I'm elderly. I'm comfortable with dying alone if that's what ends up happening. Y'all make it seem like that's the end of the world. Like, damn, that's a sad thing. I heard the sin when he died. He died, you know what I mean, with his hoes, man. He died an old, handsome man, you know what I mean, with his hoes. You know... 
I heard when he, I heard when he died, you know what I mean, uh, he just, he died with some hoes. I wish that he would have died a married man. Why would you wish that on me, man? Like, you know, people marry outside of the, uh, outside of the divine will of God all the time. I don't want to be a part of that list. I see the consequences of that. After too sure to make that album married to the game. A hoe ain't gonna pass the grave with a P. Niggas out here still saying I'm my best hoe. Man, listen. You you said don't respond. I want somebody to love me. Ass niggas, y'all going to make simple Buddha all y'all asses out the check. No, I ain't gonna do that. They can stay. Sit back and soak up some of the teachings of simple. You won't see a ring on the web finger, but you will see it on my pinky. <laughs> all these settle down ass dudes. Hey, I'm not mad at y'all. Feel the love. Ain't nothing wrong with loving your woman, man. Love that woman. If you feel led to get married, don't let me stop you. Get married and get out the way. Be a husband for real, for real. Stop trying to have one foot in and one foot out. No. Be married. Be with your boo thing. You know what I mean? This is your sugar lumpy plump. Love her. Be with her. Do all of that shit. You know, because see, like I told you, in this game, niggas will be in the pimp circle and they're going to talk all of that pimp shit. But we have, hold on, let me go get this. Hold on. Hold on, I'm going to tell you what niggas be on, right? Niggas be on some gear, yeah, man. You know what I'm talking about? You know, bitch gonna sit up there, man, tell me, you know what I mean? You know, uh, she wanna settle down and be married and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I tell the bitch, man, you know, what you tell the bitch? Yeah, I tell the bitch, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, bitch, you know what I mean? If I have a motherfucker get married, bitch, you nigga, you, you already know it's a clone. <laughs> yeah, because it ain't gonna be me. Yeah, bitch, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, if I get married, man, that man ate off his and came back as a good man around this motherfucking bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, bitch talking about some man, she wanted to marry me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you know, all that stuff and goofy shit. Yeah, I hear you pee. Yeah, I hear you pee. And then when niggas be by themselves with the bitch, you know what I mean? When, when, when the pimps, when the pimps ain't around, you know, because I, I told you, you niggas just be saying shit because your friends around. But when niggas be by themselves with the bitch, niggas be on this. Yeah, you know, uh, we've been together for some time. As I begin to think about everything that you've ever done for me. Oh my God. You know, through the years, I begin to just reminisce and I, I, I begin to just thank God and it would just be foolish of me, you know what I mean, to have you just as my hope. I want to elevate you as my wife. I want to have you for the rest of my life. Oh my God, are you just playing? No, let me explain. Listen, you know what I mean, uh, I know that, I know I play with you a lot, right? But, one thing I want you to know, one thing you know for sure, is that I love you. <laughs> oh my God. Let's get married. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me, let me take it back. Let me, let me just be sitting over there, man. You know me behind closed doors and shit. You know me with the bitch. You know I have to be in a, in a pimp circle and shit. It just be like, you don't got to go to the place. You know, oh my God. Yeah. You've been taking care of me all of this time that we've been living together. I think it's time that I take care of you. You know? Oh my God. Oh <laughs> no. They really do. You know, you took care of me all that time when we were together. Now it's time for me to take care of you. Do, 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 do. Let's cheer. 
<laughs> you know, down the street, walk up and down that blade. How about you walk down the aisle? <laughs> You walk down that blade. How about you walk down that alley? <laughs> you did. So do not be fooled by these guys. Even uh, like I, even the hot team when we do, you know, he's cool with the wordplay, but he's a full fledged square. Okay, he's a full fledged square. He's just a talented nigga with some cold wordplay <laughs> out that Mississippi. Shout out to Mississippi. You know, but he's not the pivot. But he says some very clarish, knackish type of things. But he got no pivot. You know, so I had to sit up there and let you guys know. Niggas just really fight. No, he, you know, Mac Dre, you know what I mean? He was the, Mac Dre wasn't no pill. Mary Gray was not a pill. He was clearish. He was one of the clearish type guys. But no, he wasn't no damn pill. Stop it. Let me see. I don't even know what this nigga talking about. Sound is in the mood though. Uh, you don't gotta be on the rock doing that stuff later. You know what I'm talking about? Um, and then come this goofy trying to call me private. Y'all dumbass just in there telling me, that should be free call. I done started riffing and running. You stupid. Yeah, Pippa Rimmer, if you name them, come up with me, please. Sing, please. I don't care what they say about it. Right. Seeing in love over there. You been on the marriage topic. You know what I mean? For a minute. I am in love. As a matter of fact, yeah, I'm in love with. Uh, blocking your head. Out of there! 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 Gave that goofy too many times. Too many times. That's what I'm in love with. Nigga, I'm in love with the block button. What that bitch say? Rock a bye, baby. You know what I mean? Get your goofy ass on. Trying to be merciful to you, but your dumb ass just cut on. Your boy, uh, until you let somebody be a rapper, sign artist, and that's uh, in the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to see how you speak with your hands like being a kid, man. Oh, okay, there we go. Rock it back. Out there! Out there! Ask me all that gay dumb ass shit. Out there! You know, I want to see me talk with my hands and shit. Nigga, what started so, so, so disrespectful. We did have whole drug, but he wasn't no pimp. Right, I've been saying that. Should have played Jack and Edge, let's get married. No, nah, I played that for uh, Sharp and Johnny Cat. Um, this is a new update. Who got blocked? Uh, took care of that. Saying, what's your thoughts on academic? I don't care nothing about that shit. I mean, if y'all want me to talk about that shit, I'll talk about that shit. Plus, it'll put, it, it'll uh, bring a lot of squares to the platform, but. You know, <laughs> I don't know, like the shit that be being news, it just let us know it's been a tough week if this is news. Like, who really cares about academics screaming at his girlfriend? You know, now of course, you know, it's a lesson either. I can make a lesson out of anything, but who really cares about academics screaming at his girlfriend? Like, really? I didn't know that happened. We talking about the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing and shit. You know, who really can? You know, who gives a fuck? Let me see. Uh, let me see. Big boy, I got the hell down there. I'm just gonna say, uh, he a goofy. Okay, moving on. But again, let me make this uh, very plain. Just because you didn't have distribution prostitutes, that don't make you no pill. Gangbangers, strangers, you know, blood script, Judaism, BDs. 
You know what I mean? Niggas that sell CDs and DVDs and got some currency from a bitch that sell pussy. So, you know what I mean? You know, uh, bitches are paying stop signs. Bitches will sit up there and give a bankroll to a lipo, man. You know what I mean? That don't make no motherfucker no goddamn pimp. You know what I mean? Because the bitch didn't allow the nigga that she liked to live up the earnings of her prostitution. <laughs> you know, I, been on. I mean, it's just, it's just simple. So if that's the if that's the truth, which it is true, stop putting everybody, you know, on the thing. Let's uh, do a song. Uh, blessings to you, man. But you know, when I come out with my first uh, project, it's gonna be just by myself, no rappers. Um, I'm gonna try to make sure I ain't miss nobody's social statement. Thank you. Look, bro, if you want to be in love with Mac Dre, stay in love with Dre, bro. Whatever you want to think. You want to think that Mac Dre was a real official, authentic pimp, then bro, do your thing, bro. But no. I know that certain people grew up idolizing certain people, and it's kind of hard, you know what I mean? <laughs> he got that Mac Dre post on his wall. Dizzle, we got the Dizzle Washington post on his wall. <laughs> You know, it's breaking your heart, but no. I can't get you out of my room. You know what I mean? You're crying out, man. I understand. You know, you got to just swear all the po- You know what I Let me say this. You got that Denzel like, Washington poster on the wall next to the filthy rich. No, all of them posters that you got in your room or what have you, all the ground, you know, picture or what have you, they got to destroy that, man. <laughs> oh, nah, he got his damn uh, Pimp C post. He's got to take it down. Pimps, man. Nah. Filthy Richard Pimp. Hell nah. I've been a figure of that. Uh-huh. Even back in the day, you got all this. Filthy Rich. I started like, picking up on uh, DSO, the little shit and know, how the uh, versatility of all the ball. The versatility and shit. Who finds the game? But he's still on this pimp and eat. Let's see. Well, the person said, Yeah, he's back in the 2000s. 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 They mad at me, man, because I said that they favorite rap man they ain't no pimp, man. You know, I already know. Niggas ain't gonna watch my videos for a little while, man. I can't <laughs> disagree, man, but bless his teeth, bro. Man, you still, little bro, man, I still got love for you. You know? You ain't never heard me say that. You haven't heard me say that Rallo was not the pimp. That's what you did not hear me say. <clears throat> you didn't hear me say that. I've not already spoken on sauce. Blessings to that man. That man taking care of his business, he getting his money. But no, he's not the pimp. I don't know about Larry Jones. I don't know nothing about him, so I can't really say. He don't say nothing about that him. He man. is or isn't. Well. I don't know. He ain't. I don't know nothing about him. I've never heard no pimps say that, yeah, man, Larry, woo, Larry doing some cold pimps. Man, I say that nigga Larry Jr. No. I'd be interested to hear about what you was doing prior to you blowing up off the rapper. Yeah. Just like, when they, if they bring CNA name up, right, before this YouTube shit, right, before the social media shit, right, Sin was what? Pimping. It wasn't just, ooh, shit, damn. Uh, man, I see the YouTubers, they talk about the game. Let me go ahead and, you know, get in the lifestyle, man, because I see the YouTube video. 
<laughs> what was your history prior to you rapping? What was your history before you got famous, you know, with this music that? What was you doing? What was you endeavoring to have? What was you about? What was your character like? Exactly. Got a 350 goal right there. Let me see. Good, good, Bruce. Don't let nothing about it. I try not to watch this on people because I already know what you, what you, what you mean. Niggas might as well say Cat. Yeah, man. Cat Williams is coming. And I heard the nigga actually say that before. Nah, no, PG Trigger. Cat Williams, he's a bitch. It's pimping. Pimping? Niggas actually said that one time. They was like, nah, no, PG Trigger, man, Cat. Cat Williams some giving. <laughs> I just died down laughing. You know, now, has Cat had some prostitutes? Has Cat broke on some bitches before? I wouldn't even put that past him. But was he just pimping though? Uh, no. Oh, God. But again, let me go through this list. Okay, Pimp C. No! Charismatic, you know what I mean? Pimp C had a personality, uh, personality like no other. You know what I mean? Musician, he could sing a little bit. You know what I mean? Pimp C was cold, man. Hung around pimps, had love for the game, was a fan of the game, but was not this pimping. He was not the pimping. That's not that you know, Pimp C was a family man. Stop thinking everybody that got pimp in their name. Oh, he gotta be a pimp, you know, because he got pimp in his name. No. Chad was a family man. He was a good dude. But eat a he whole was thing a respectable guy. Nick. He was a good man. He Give me that! He was a very rapper. Get it to him. My head up with him. No, he wasn't. Uh too short, legend. Bay Area legend, man. Yeah, yeah. Name, Bay Area legend. Yeah, yeah. Too short got a lot of player, uh, Mac type of classes. You know what I mean? Cold dude, man. Cold, cold. Definitely a legend. He's a rap legend. Been doing this thing since I don't know when. But no, he's not a pimp. Has he broken on some bitches? Has he charged some bitches before? Yes. He didn't have some situations before, even with Divine Brown. You know what I mean? But guess what? You know what I mean? He ain't the pimpin' either. Yeah, he's not the pimpin'. Mm-mm. He's an entertainer. He's a rapper. See, I'm trying to get you to understand, just like with gangsters, right? When you come to this gangster shit, you got some niggas that can say some cold gangster shit over the instrumental. I mean, man, they sound like killers. You know, if you listen to his voice and the way he say things, you would swear this nigga got he pretty much Craig Monson and Tookie Wills, uh, Tookie Williams and they youth. You know what I mean? <laughs> Talking over these beats, man, like man, Cole was the killer, right? MCA. Like to find out he's nothing like that. He's really a nice, well-mannered young man. You know, stop. You know, making uh people live up to the things that they say. In these, in these songs. That comes with gospel music, rap music, country music, jazz music. Music is just music. There's only a few individuals that's actually living, you know, the things that they say over these instrumentals. That that's really their lifestyle for real, for real. But majority in every genre of music, these are just gifted individuals that are just hey, hey, got that. Let's go. Why do you bring up mess? Like, if you actually think Messy Mara would kill him, okay. That name shouldn't even be brought up. Mess is a Bay Area legend. To me, as far as music is concerned, Mess is the best. I know they love Dre, they love me 40 and Keep Short. Oh, okay. As far as catalog, ain't nobody fucking with Mess. But is he a pimp? No. I don't. No! 
Five, five, pretty brown eyes and a head fine. I swear I can't let her go. You know because a nigga just blocked you for me. I know even tagged you out or blocked you, but I see the ticket. I see one of my minds being so tough. I love. I love. Yeah, I was going to the studio. 100 yards. See, I didn't even disrespect free with that shit. I just simply said that, you know, when you messing with them drugs and, and things like that, you know, Boy, uh, yeah. you can't really, you can't really represent this game, you know how. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Like, imagine me doing crystal meth and then getting on here trying to teach you the game. Damn. You're not even going to be able to receive it. <laughs> I can't represent this game and I'm on crystal meth. This shit is destroying my brain. <laughs> I'm losing brain cells doing this shit. How the hell am I represent this game? You know what I'm saying? So I didn't really go too hard. I didn't go hard at all pertaining to the drugs because I have respect and love, you know, for free as a man and him as a legend and things like that. So I didn't even go into all of that. I just went from a place of uh, you know, him first coming into the game off the strength of his baby mama, you know, breaking his heart. So you came, you made a start because your woman broke your heart. You know, that's not the reason why you come into this game. That's a very square, and just to be real, uh, Sugar Free interviews always kind of been square as uh, fuck. You know, when, yeah. when, when it came to like answering questions pertaining to the game, you know, you can speak indirectly, but very directly and still be very pimpish you know, uh, what you answer things pertaining to the game. And he just never, you know, really done that. You know, Cole Legend was the music, but, you know, when it came to, like, speaking on the game and shit like that, he never really left with, like, ooh, ooh, that was jewelry. That was some hell of jewelry that came out that man's mouth. Ooh, no, he don't, he don't need that type of feeling. Appreciate that five. That Russell Wilson, yeah. myself. Yeah, he don't give he don't give you that kind of thing. And let me make this known. You know, uh can pimps rap? Yes, we have authentic pimps that have gifts. They can rap, sing, play instruments, but it's a difference between a pimp that has the ability to rap versus a rapper that's using his claim to fame, using his popularity to get currency for bitches that sell pussy. It's a big difference. You got one person that's a pimp that's trying to convince you that he's a rapper. Then on the other side, you got a rapper that's trying to convince you that he's a pimp. See how, see the difference? I don't even know, uh, J. Bay. I've already spoke on this, man. All you new guys uh, coming in. No, Filthy was not going to hear him. Stop. He didn't have some rods, and he didn't know what to do with them. All them guys on um, Diamond Pimp, too deep can rap. His mess is Mozzie some Pimpin'? Definitely can rap. He can rap. Got him. Is Mozzie, so they might as well just say Mo uh, is Mozzie a pimp? They only say Mozzie a pimp. Best to come out of the Bay Area as far as uh, rapping is concerned with me. As far as like songs, his catalog is second to none. Andre Nicotina, Cole, Cole. Cold with it too. I forgot all about Andre. Yeah, Andre Nigga too got some cold shit. Come on, man. Get your dumb ass up back there for me, that stupid ass shit. Um, so the slam is living and everything. Yeah. Uh, as far as uh, some gangster shit, yeah. You niggas want to ride with me. Um, let me see. Yeah, the comments getting very goofy. This is what I'm going to do for y'all. Let's see. Because it's still early. 
I'll take a few calls, but this is gonna be one of my, uh, I think I'll probably end up putting this on the pod. I might let it rock out, I don't know. My people will let me know. Jay Worthy, Jay Worthy is a nice guy. You know, he's no, a it, thing as far as the, come the on now. is concerned. He Larry Joe, Jay Worthy. Y'all was decent. Y'all was decent with a Drew down. Shout out to him. Got him. Bro, why do you keep asking me about Dre when I didn't already spoke on that? Yeah. Every freaking 15, 20 minutes overall, he got to speak on. I mean, everybody's got their own opinion. I respect yours. Yeah, I ain't mad at you. Come on, man. Niggas just saying anything in my shit. Uh, generally ain't no P. He a Mexican for one. Yeah, but he got some good music. Notice how, you see, that's how you can respectfully speak on somebody. If somebody say, man, uh, you know, you ever heard or you ever seen or you, do you ever know if this guy's some pimp? You can say, you know what, that guy makes some good music. You know, I like that guy. And I do. Jay Worthy, uh, uh, as far as beat and, and beat selection and everything, like Jay Worthy is very slept on. Jay Worthy got some cold ass shit, you know. But as far as the the uh, pimping, you know, that's my only answer uh, to that. He still got us some. Come on, man. What you gonna ask me as a snitch or pimp for? But uh, I'm gonna let y'all uh, attack me. Come on in, call me. Instead of being in the comment section. And don't ask me no freaky shit. Ask me pertaining to this. The topic. Now you got my number. Let's see. Nah, you didn't have to, uh...
my homie Ridiculous. That's for the East Tracks, man. Shout out to that boy, boy, boy. You remind me. Request welcome. Let's get it. <laughs> Baby, it's 
Thanks.